Hey, how are you? This video is about getting you to the next level in your insurance agency. If you're just starting in the first couple years, this one is specifically about the first one to three years and how you can increase your efficiency. I'm going to give step by step straight to the point, you know, what you need to do to really get it there. And there's no, you know, fluff. I'm going to get straight into it. And then at the end, I will do one of the giveaways. So please watch till the end and we will see you guys at the top. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, my belief here is, you know, every day, every hour that you're not working on the business or in the business, you know, someone else is getting ahead. I'm here, this is Saturday, I'm here right now. That's probably why I'm wearing kind of not professional clothes as I usually am. And I truly believe that everything you want in life, um, you know, comes on the other side of, you know, hard work. Growth and improvement is something that makes you feel better on a daily basis. So that's why, you know, what we're doing here, we're not just trying to make money. We're not just trying to, you know, it comes with happiness and improving the lives of our families around us. So get after it. Everything you want in life is upstream. It's not going to come to you easy. So be ready because these first couple years are really, really difficult. And I'm going to dive into the exact points of what helped me get to where I'm at and what I believe are really necessary for somebody just getting going. So first things first, you need to sell like crazy. A lot of times people think you got to have these come up with this beautiful marketing strategy. No, you need to just get in there and start making sales, putting stuff on the board. No one's going to do it for you. Get in there, start getting some sales going. Number two, build processes and procedures. If you don't know what that means, go watch my processes and procedures video and how I suggest to build out infrastructure that can help a business scale. It's just like McDonald's, just like all these other businesses out there. That's what helps them scale and grow efficiently. If you're just running buck wild, you're going to spin your wheels. You need to establish a team foundation. Start looking to hire, getting people in the business because you can't grow a real sustainable business on your own and, and build it big if that's your ambition. So. Um, start looking immediately in the first year or two to you know start building a team foundation like hire someone early on and you know that's that's necessary another thing is work towards separating yourself from the business and delegating you can't be in the business always your value starts to grow so much as the owner that you need to be in other areas and segments of the business so learn to separate yourself from doing the sales doing the service doing all that stuff and lastly, you need to drive marketing. You need to learn to have attention and leads be flowing into the business. If you can't do that, you're going to have a hard time. So drive marketing. So here's how to do those things. I'm going to kind of go into each one of them. Like, you know, first of all, the sales, like driving sales and starting to sell, like you need to sell for the first couple of years. Like it just needs to happen. Someone needs to put some numbers on the board. So, you know, you need to read books on sales. Like there's books that I've suggested in previous videos that I highly recommend. Get really, really, really good at sales if you're not already. You know, watch videos on sales, trial and error, call, cold calling, and get out there and door knock. Like some of that stuff is just necessary to build thick skin and, and you learn like what works, what doesn't work. And that real in the trenches selling needs to happen. You need, it, everybody has to go through. It's a rite of passage. You must have some sales and get really good at sales as far as the you know processes and procedures i highly recommend you know first of all modeling another business don't reinvent the wheel there's like processes but every agency is different that's what i've learned i've seen everybody have different processes procedures like for us our systems may be different than yours so we have a different process for our management system etc you need to start just writing out on like a google doc or like you know on a piece of paper I don't recommend a piece of paper, but Google Doc, like go on a Word file, whatever it is that you do, start writing out like, okay, when we sell this client, this is what we do next. We send an email, welcome email. Then we send them like, then we input them into the management system. Then we send them a card. Like all this stuff needs to happen. Just check one, check two, check three. Like you need to start building those things out for multiple areas of the business, marketing, sales, service, renewals, etc. That's going to be essential to growing your business. You can also check out the processes and procedures that I sell. Um, another thing that you need to do is your team foundation. Like once you start to hire and you really start to recruit, like you need to be recruiting first of all. Start posting for hiring and positions, like even part-time, just to get somebody in that can help you grow. Like you need hands on deck. 
Um, you need to become a great manager. You can't just hire people. And like, I've learned this, like I first didn't know anything about employing people. I was never even like really a manager, like for anybody, like I just worked for an agency. And now I know, I realize like there's different ways to approach to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with your team. Um, it's almost like John Wooden, like John Wooden was a, you know, a legendary coach. Uh, he was, he didn't even believe in like success and failures. All he believed in was putting, you know, your heart on the line and giving your best effort because when you put in your best effort, there's nothing more you can do. That's just the top of the line. So becoming an excellent manager, a leader, and like somebody that inspires your team to take it to the next level because like I said, you're not gonna do this as a solopreneur by yourself. You need to have people that are, in, you know, buy into your vision. Um, another thing is, you know, separating yourself. That comes hand in hand with that. Um, you know, and then, you know, another thing when it comes to the driving the marketing, you need to be posting on social media daily. Like, don't just be buying leads. Like, use the organic opportunities that you have. Like, post on LinkedIn, post on Facebook. And I, I, I'm serious. It needs to be every single day. Take advantage of this. If you're not doing that, you are missing the boat, you know, rem like incredibly missing the boat. Like you're completely, like you're negligent as a business owner if you're not using social media and leveraging and posting and being active on it. Like there's a reason why I'm doing this. There's a reason why I post on Facebook, LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, use the technology. This is a window of opportunity in this, you know, world that we've, you know, this technology boom that's happened in the last 10, 20 years that of, you know, social media that you can leverage for growing your business. Take advantage of it. I'm, I'm hyped up on that. Whatever. Anyways, do it or don't. The other people will, and they're gonna, they're gonna grow. Um, so lastly, I think, you know, as you start to learn and your value starts to grow, like I've learned so much in my last seven years of really being in the insurance industry that now my value that I've brought to the industry is, you know, much more than I could have ever imagined. Like at this point, even only seven years in, like just being in the industry, you know, I believe that your hourly pay, hourly pay is just a you know a convenient measure like an hour is just a convenient measure of that value that you can bring within that time constraint so if you want to make more money what you need to do is start to stack skills like start by you know getting really good at sales you know let's just say auto sales you get really really good at auto sales now you have that you know that value next thing you know you can stack that homeowners now you're really good at homeowners. Now you're really dangerous in those two areas. Now you're now you're making more money because you're good in those two areas. Oh, by the way, now you stacked on commercial. Now you're really good at commercial. You now your value increases. Now you stack on top of that life insurance. Now you're really good at selling life insurance. So your value is just increasing. You're going to make more money because you're more dangerous and you can bring more value to the marketplace. On top of that, now you become a manager. Now you can help manage and train people. Now your value increases even more. On top of that, now you can, you know, recruit. Now you're an excellent recruiter. Like it just goes on and on and marketing, stacking and stacking these skills on top of each other. And as you start to do that, and that goes ties perfectly circling back to what I originally said, every day and every hour that you're not putting into the business and to in improving yourself as an individual, um, as a business owner, as a leader, as a marketer, as a salesperson, et cetera, et cetera somebody else is and they're getting ahead and you're just delaying the time that you are getting to improve and, and, and grow your business. So my, I'm imploring everybody to listen, to watch these videos, put them into action. Don't just hear them. Like, let's go get better at sales. Let's go read a book about sales. Let's go read a book about marketing, start recruiting, start hiring, start training, start teaching. Um, those are the things that you're going to do to help you kind of stack those skills up improve your value and make more money. Um, with that, I'm gonna do the giveaway. I wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who's been liking. Please give this a thumbs up. Let's get this to 100 likes. If um, you don't follow or don't subscribe, please subscribe. Let's get this video to 100 likes and comment. I'm gonna pick somebody in the comments and that's liked and in the comments to do another giveaway. Um, and if it's 100 likes, I'm gonna do a handful of giveaways. So in this one, um, I wanna shout out Patty Ortiz. Thank you so much, Patty. I see that you've just started your agency and you're getting on your path to getting going. So um, really happy for you. I think I really, really hope the processes work for you. I'm gonna send you the digital copy of the processes. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I really just, you know, want to keep helping and doing giveaways because that's what I'm here for to expedite your process, cut that time down and, you know, help you on your way. So um, that's all I got. Patty, congrats. Uh, really appreciate you guys. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please give a like. Go to chriscostantini.com if you haven't given away some good stuff. Also, like I said, I'm in the works of putting together a really, really good book where I put all my best stuff together into one little book. Um, that I'm going to try to pump out. There's no expe expe uh, expected time just yet when I'm going to release that because I'm, it's working on it. So I uh, really appreciate you guys. Reach out to me if you need any help. I'm always happy to jump on a quick call, like five minutes with somebody if you need it. So uh, if time permits, give me a call, shoot me an email, click the links. Um, really happy to help and we will see you guys at the top. Talk to you soon. Peace.